Hi, my name is Sam and this is a tutorial on Amira 6.0. So in this tutorial we will cover basic image segmentation. So I'm going to start out with explaining all the different tools that you can use for image segmentation. And then I'm going to go into some data that I have. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open some example data. So we're going to click on open data and we're going to go to teddy bear and we're going to click we'll select zero and hold down shift to select 0 to 61. We're just going to click OK and we're going to add a volume rendering just to display what we have. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is explain to you all the tools that you have. I'm going to go to segmentation and look how it creates this label. So this is where all of our labels and all of our image data and how we separate it into different materials where we will be stored. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to click on the force view display. So each of this uses three different ortho slices. One ortho slice, two ortho slices, and three ortho slices. And this is a view of all three together. So if we want to make a volume rendering, we can do that by just clicking on this volume rendering icon. You can also change the different modes like that where the where they are clear and when they have disappeared. You can also at display them on the slices too. I prefer this mode. It is by far, in my opinion, the easiest to work with. You can also change the color map by going from here to temperature or seismic or Volvern light. But I'm just going to stick with grayscale because it is simple. So then you can also create new materials right here. So I'm going to create a new material for main body, just like that. You can also display the material in 3D if you want. Currently, all when you begin segmenting images, all the pixels start in the exterior part, just like that. You can display them on 2D or not. I'll show you more about that later. So you can zoom into the data windows just like this. You can also control how much of the data they show. This is exactly like a volume rendering, the volume rendering slider. Okay. So the next thing, so this tool just selects everything. Either on one slice It just selects all of one slice, or if you click all slices, it will select literally everything in there. Okay? The next tool is a painting tool. So if you hold control while having this, it will allow you to delete other, take away selections that you've already made. If you don't hold control, it just paints like this. You can change it to a circle or a square you can make it only paint on the current material and you can change the size so let's say if I wanted to just select this entire thing I could just go like that and it's super easy or I just want to select that entire box like right there so one thing to keep in mind is these two tools so what they allow you to do so let's say I select right here just the center area and I want it to grow so it allows me to grow it like this and shrink it the next tool is a lasso tool so you can either lasso in 3d where you just select and it will just select what you've lassoed what it looks like you've lassoed or you can do it in 2D and it will just, it's much more exact that way. You can also use auto trace, which will allow you to trace the lines much easier and with much less error because it will help you do it. You can also change it to the ellipse mode where it will help you just draw ellipses or the rectangle mode where it will help you draw rectangles.
the outside mode will delete anything that's outside. And the inside mode. Yeah. Okay. So these tools allow you to apply it. So you can, if you have a selection like this, Like this, I have this selection that I want to make. And I just want to add it, then I want to add it to here. I can just do that by just, once I make a selection, I click on main body and I just click the plus sign. I can also subtract, so, so let's say I want to subtract that from main body. I can go like that and just click subtract. And as you can see, it is subtracted. So if you click on 2D, it will show and hide it. If I want to see it in 3D, you can see that like that. So this is everything that is just in section main body. So I'm just going to Okay. The next tool is the magic wand tool. It is by far my favorite one. It allows you, using some formula, it allows you to select different things based on however much you want to select and what material you select at the beginning. So let's say I select right here. I can drag this up and it will select less and I can drag this down and it will select more. This is the pixels it will select, the length or Rate width of pixels it will select. So if I select here, it'll just select everything. Mm -hmm. The next tool is this one. So what it will do is it will just select everything that is masked. This is another awesome tool. So what it allows you to do is when you click on something, it will allow you to grow it like this. So one note, if you hold shift while doing it, it will allow you to add stuff to that growth pattern like this. If you have control, it will allow you to delete stuff like this, see? So you can change how fast it grows by just changing the gross width like this. And it grows, as you can see now, it grows much slower. And you can change the tolerance so it doesn't go out as easily. Okay, so those are all the tools. So now I'm going to get into this example by segmenting the teddy bear. So the first thing I'm going to do is explain to you how I'm going to segment it. So I'm going to segment the eyes and one material, the nose and the other, this back part and a third, and the main body last. Okay? So we're going to head back to segmentation. We're just going to delete this material. And we're going to click new material. So I'm going to have this material be blue because I'm my teddy bear is going to have can change what color this material is by just doing this. I'm going to have my teddy bear have green eyes to be really creepy. So I'm going to label this eyes and just click enter. So this next thing I'm going to do is erase my current selection. And then I'm going to find the eyes. So these are the eyes. So I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to use the magic wand tool. That's a tiny bit too much, so let's drag it up a tiny bit more. That's still a tiny bit too much. Well, here's a better one. Here, let's select it here. Let's see. That's still too much. I think that's good, all right? So now I'm going to add that to eyes. As you can see, it immediately highlights that part screen, and it will show me that eye in 3D. Next, I'm going to select the other eye and add it to eyes again. The next thing we want to select is the nose. 
Okay, so now we're going to head back down just by dragging this like this. And we're going to click there. And look, it selects just the nose. So now we're going to add that to the nose. So now that we have the eyes and nose. So if you click on color, they will be the color that you set them to be instead of the volume rendering. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the back part. So to do that, we're just going to click on the back part and we're going to drag this down until we get a good selection. So this looks pretty good to me. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the next material and we're going to name it back part. And we're just going to add it to it. So now that we have that, we have everything except the main body. So to just get the main body, we're going to click on exterior and we're going to just click on same material only. So that will not select any of the other materials such as eyes, nose, and back part. So then you can just click there and let's drag out until we get a good sense of the teddy bear. So this is a tiny bit too much in my opinion. So let's drag it in a tiny bit more. I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to just make this and make main body. But wait, look, it doesn't, it seems like there's a bunch of holes in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this and just fill all the slices like this. As you can see, this is much better, but still not perfect. So the next thing I want to do is after I add this to main body, I'm going to click segmentation. I'm going to click fill holes. And there we have it, a teddy bear. So if we have more time, I would love to show you that you can go into each of these and just select them more carefully by using this and getting the, just the insides. Like this. And then using interpolation, which once, so if you select Let's delete my selection. If I just select one thing here, and then one thing, let's say here. So now that I have those two things, let's just let's take off the 3D part. So now we have that, we can go to selection and we can do interpolate. And it will, Aviso will interpolate on it on every slice in between. So the next function we're going to use is wrap. So by to do this, we're just going to select this teddy bear on a few different slices like this and this and this. And then, so look at what I've selected. I selected it on three different slices. And next, we're going to interpol, we're going to wrap them together. So now that it's wrapping, so wrap will work better with some stuff and worse with other things. It did not work that well with this, but it is a very useful tool for some applications. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another Amira tutorial. If you like this video, please like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And please subscribe if you want to be notified when there are more tutorials out.